hi welcome back to my channel and if it's the first time um, to my channel welcome today I am launching a new challenge and if any of you remember back from 1994 till 2010 a program called ready steady cook um, you'll know what I'm going to be doing um, for my challenge so ready steady cook as I said was a program back um, in 2000 2010 it finished, uh, started in 1994 and did 1,859 episodes. I mean, can you believe it? That is an amazing amount of episodes. The gist of the programme was that you'd have two contestants um, on different teams. So you'd have a green pepper team and a red tomato team. And each um, contestant would have a celebrity chef. And there was absolutely loads in its time, um, you know, um, Gina DiCaprio, um, Anti Royal Thompson, Leslie Waters, um, oh, it was just so many. Um, and they would um, each have a bag of ingredients. And the contestants would choose the ingredients and there would be different levels. So the bags came in, the classic bag was £5, the budget bag was £3.50. Then there was a £7.50 bag and a um, sort of gourmet deluxe bag which was worth £10. So the contestants would come along with these bags of ingredients. The chef wouldn't know what was in their bags. They would be unveiled on the programme and the chefs would then have to think about what dishes they would create using those ingredients and they also had um, store cupboard items that they could use. At the end of the um, period, which I think was 20 minutes, um, the audience could vote for green peppers or red tomato dishes. Obviously it was all around visual because you couldn't actually taste them, um, but you get the gist of how creative the chef had been and things like that. And as I said, I absolutely loved that program. And when um, they um, launched their magazine, um, every, I think it was a fortnight actually, um, you could buy it from the news agents and I would have it on order and in it would be different recipe cards which you would then put into these ring binders and I've got all of them downstairs in the kitchen and you know they give you dinner ideas, starters, vegetarian, meat, all sorts of things. So I absolutely love this program. So I was thinking the other day why don't I do a ready steady cook challenge? I'm not sure if I can cook, call it ready steady cook but I get into trouble so I'm going to call it Ready Steady Let's Cook Slim and I want you guys out there to help me with this because I don't know about you sometimes when you're trying to lose weight um, you stick to the same meals every single day and you get bored after a while but you don't quite know what else you can do that is not going to pile the pounds on for you. Or you have um, a day where you know you open that fridge and there's not a lot inside it and you don't know what to cook or it could just be actually there's some ingredients that you always seem to use but you always seem to make the same things out of it and you just think god I wish I could do more with these items so my challenge to you is that I want you to um, make a comment underneath this and tell me what would be in your virtual bag. I'm gonna say virtual because obviously you can't give me a bag of ingredients. So I have got here my bag, okay? With my Slim Inspirations logo on it. And I want you to um, give me a bag of ingredients up to whichever value you think is, is appropriate for you. The store cupboard staples, um, I'm going to use Slimming World store cupboard staples. Okay, so it won't include things like milk and cream and things like that. Okay, so when you're looking at your virtual bag, you need to consider all those ingredients. Um, I will put a link down here um, to my blog, which will have the written terms and conditions of the challenge for you. So you know what will be in that store cupboard um, that I can use for free. Okay, so you will, for example, come up with a bag of items up to the value of £3.50. I will pick at random every Tuesday evening a bag of ingredients and I will go to the supermarket with my little bag and I will purchase them. And I will then come home and every Sunday I will publish you what I've created from that bag. 
Now, if you have um, certain ingredients that you want for lunch or for dinner, tell me, and I will try and create things for that. Or if your bag is about um, food on the go or breakfast, tell me and I'll work on that for you. If you're vegetarian, if you're vegan, and vegan's gonna be a big challenge because I've never cooked vegan, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, or you've got any dairy intolerances, things like that, let me know as well, because this is to include everybody. This just isn't people on Slim World. This is anybody who wants to eat healthily, but doesn't quite know what to do or wants some other ideas and I just want to um, give you some help with that. I love cooking. I love taking ingredients myself anyway and just thinking what can I make out of them. Um, I'm not great with recipe books. Um, I use them as ideas, but I do sort of try and create my own sort of food anyway. So I thought this would be a really, really good way of helping you guys out there, having a bit of fun myself, um, and just doing something really, really different. Now I'm going to throw a wild card in there for you as well. So for example, if you've chosen the £5 bag, okay, but you've only spent £3.95, you can choose to give me that £1.5p as a wild card. Now I will take that £1.5p and I will buy another ingredient or ingredients that I think will help complement that food. So for example, if you've given me chicken, and I think maybe bacon would actually help the dish, but it's not on my list of ingredients and I've got the money to buy it, I'll buy some, some bacon, okay? If you do use the wild card and there is something you really, really do not like or you don't eat, like I don't eat lamb, then just tell me, okay? Now, I don't want you to spend a lot of time on this because otherwise you're not gonna do it, okay? So just have a think about certain ingredients. You know when you do your weekly shopping what things cost roughly. So if you're gonna go for the bargain bag, the chances are you're not gonna put a beef steak on there because I can't buy beef steak um, for £3.50 and anything else that you might want to make with it. Um, although you never know. Um, so if you go for the bargain bag, you're probably gonna be doing something maybe um, vegetable based or with mince. Obviously, if you go for the five pound, opens up more seven pound fifty, even more, and ten pounds the world's oyster. Now, I will try and tell you as well roughly how many portions I get out of that um, bag of ingredients as well. So, if you give me, um, I don't know, the ten pound bag and it includes mints, the chance are I'm going to do a meal for four for you. Um, if you give me the three pound fifty, again, it depends on what you've given me. Um, I might only be able to make it for two people, okay? I'll try not to do it for one person unless you're saying to me that you are on your own and you want meals for one. Obviously, that is something I will do for you. So I've put the link down here to my um, blog, which has got sort of the written um, terms and conditions, so to speak. Um, but it is just a little bit of fun, okay? And I really would like you to get on board with this. And as I said, um, if, I can get sort of the bags by Tuesday. That gives me a chance to go shopping um, and then think about what I want to cook and then do the video for you to get it to you on a Sunday, all right? So have a think about your virtual bag and let me know what you've got in that bag and I, as I said, I will pick it at random, okay? And I will contact the person whose bag I've chosen to let them know that it's their bag I'm going to be making on the weekend, all right? So guys, have a good think. Please subscribe to my channel to make sure that you grab all the ideas that I put on here and I look forward to seeing what's in the virtual bags.